brother, it is so great to see you, especially under these circumstances. Right off the top, you and I spoke a little while ago before about a certain release. Something's happened during this time, man. Why are we talking here? Because something special has happened for you and the band. What's going on? Um, there's a lot of good uh, voodoo in the air. Uh, yeah, we're feeling pretty fortunate these days. We got a Juno nod, which um, is such an honor. And we just announced a really big tour, the biggest tour of our career. Um, yeah, don't don't music- give away... At least stop you there. Don't give away too much on the tour yet. I'm going to go to that, but I want to go to the Juno, which congratulations on that. What category are you nominated for? And of course, what body of music are you nominated for? Um, Group of the Year is the nomination, and that's attached to our album Inside. You know, right. it. the cool thing about that is, um, you know, so many iconic groups have been nominated and won this. And it's like, when we talk about um, group of the year, it doesn't matter the genre. We are talking about basically the best bands in the in in this nation. How does it feel knowing that you are part of that list? I mean, I think the the nomination is the big win to be recognized by your peers and the country and the industry. And I mean, I think it's really hard to use terms like best or worst or anywhere in between when it comes to art. I'm going to be really diplomatic here because I truly believe that. So, you know, we we definitely aren't salivating to be deemed the best at anything, mm-hmm. but to be recognized and to have the nomination is truly an honor and we feel really grateful. And the win would, would be a big bonus. And we would certainly have to, I think, pass the win off to the people that really make it happen, the fans and the team around us. I mean, that's really the group, um, the group presence. My brother, you have always been humble. And this is one of the biggest reasons why you absolutely and the rest of the group deserve this. But you kind of mentioned something else, too. Big tour announcement and this is huge what's going on with this yeah we're gonna open up for imagine dragons in europe in june and into july so it's a pretty big tour direct support and uh yeah it's crazy we're we're pretty nervous and we're very excited how did this come about man who was negotiating with you to make this happen um we share the same agency which um, certainly doesn't mean a shoe in I think it's just, you know, a, a, a foot in the door. And um, there was a lot of conversation. There was a lot of, uh, you know, enticing and, and pitching and um, endearing us to, to them. And at the end of the day, we, I guess we were the, the victors out of a short list of bands who were, um, you know, being checked out for the gig. I think, you, I think this is a, great combination i think it's a perfect combination how do you prepare for something like this um i think you 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 know you create a stadium set songs that really um have big energy that project and then you you consider how you can amp them up even more um and i think you yeah you want to take what you do and elevate it in every respect um the music the performance the wardrobe everything because it's a huge space and it's hard to to fill that big of a space with your energy and connect to you know 50,000 people or one person 50,000 people back you know it's 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 a it's a big job so you got to have big energy you guys definitely have always had big energy and positive vibes too what do you think it has been Knowing that we have gone through such a tough time in the last uh, two years, what has been the positive energy that you guys have been able to project for yourselves to make sure that new album, Juno nomination, and of course this this great, great tour connection? I mean, you know, unless you're like really gripped by the flight or fight response 
there's an opportunity to to tap into how beautiful it is to be here, to be alive, yeah. regardless of the circumstances. Um, and music is a portal into remembering that and to uh, amplifying that. And that has certainly been a savior for us to have the opportunity to make music that reflects our journey in becoming better people and then sharing that and then connecting to other people, real people who find some value in what we've done to help them on their journey. It's like a really beautiful human circle um, that music uh, creates. And so that's a bit of a flowery answer, but um, that's how I see it. Yeah, and we feel it too through the music. We should remind folks too, I keep saying, uh, you know, recently released album. What is that recently released album called? And how does it represent the band right now? Inside. Um, yeah, well, 2020 was certainly an insular year. Yes. And I, I, it was hard to write about something other than what was going on. So, I, you know, it took the cue from the world to take the metaphor and apply it to inward journeying and, and taking inventory of yourself and where maybe you know, pain is stuck and, um, and how to dislodge that. And so the record was basically a self-betterment concept record. And, um, you know, I, I think we're in a different place now. It's 2022. The band is out in the world. We're moving. We're feeling good. We're connecting. Um, and I think the deluxe extension that we released this year um, is probably the music that more represents where we're at right now because it's kind of fiery, it's playful, there's a little more teeth and, and fangs in it. So we were happy to have that opportunity to release more music that kind of reflects where we're at now. Opportunity, is there opportunity for you maybe performing at the Junos? Have you heard anything yet? Um, what you guys are going to be doing other than, of course, walking the red carpet and looking so <laughs> damn good? Um, that invitation ha hasn't come in yet, but um, that, that would be such a cool ask. So we'll, we'll keep our ears peeled. Okay, well, look, I'm going to let you go because I know you got a ton of more interviews. And, of course, you got to get prepared for the Junos tour. Like, <laughs> mother, mother, damn. I just love seeing success for folks who so represent what great music is all about, great Canadian music, and you guys have been doing that for years. Ryan, congratulations on this success. Looking forward to seeing that at the Juno Awards. And you know what? I can't get to Europe, but I know people are going to be, you know, filming and putting them up on YouTube. So I'm going to check out and see what you guys are up to down there. Congrats on all this, man. And say Thank hello you. to the rest of the band, uh, band members. Well, for thanks for your time, Rudy. Thanks for your support.